there are things you can do to help the environment. I ride the bus. I don't think that comes as a real shock. Uh, <laughs> when you look at me, I don't think you guys are like, I bet this guy can really drive a car, man. I am. I'm not good behind the wheel of an automobile with the weird eye. You know, it comes in handy as a pedestrian. I'll be like, hey, stay back, everybody. That guy ran a stop sign two blocks over. I don't think <laughs> he's gonna stop. But I ride the bus, and uh, this happened to me at a bus stop uh, in Colorado. I'm from Colorado, but I don't ski because I'm already sliding downhill in so many other areas of my life. But I keep the poles because they're handy for picking up trash, you know. <laughs> and I'm building up some community service just in case. But. That's what I mean about you guys. I did not expect that to be the big laugh line, but I'm like, all right, that's weird. Slow down again. And then, <laughs> sorry, that's usually just what I hear in my head. But, but like this happened at a bus stop in Colorado. It was eight o'clock at night. It was dark out. And say that that stool is the bus stop, right? And here's another side note. If you ever come up to a bus stop and there's a bottle of water, don't drink that water, man. That's, that's what happened to my eye. But uh, <laughs> I just walked up to this bus stop like you normally would. And I startled this woman who was there. But it wasn't like I snuck up there, you know, like <laughs> nobody better see me get on this bus. I just walked up there normally. And then she gets really close to me and she goes, are you all right? <laughs> Do you have somewhere to go? And I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm at a bus stop. I'm, I'm going places. I don't think I can time them much better. Is this your first time at a bus stop? You didn't drink the bus stop water, did you? Because <laughs> that's where I went wrong. <laughs> and there are weird people on the bus, and I know you're all looking at me like, yeah, no kidding, man, but I'm not the weirdo on the bus. That's the beauty of my look, you know? Everybody's looking at me, and I'm like, you should be looking at that guy over there. That's I keep him in the weird eye and one eye on the door, man. And then I just adjust my stance accordingly to wherever the weirdo is. Wow, you guys are a mass crowd. That's good. That's good to know. I'll file that away. I guess that's more geometry. I don't know. But, but, but anyway, I'm riding the bus. It's late at night. I'm a nightclub entertainer. This guy stands up on a rolling bus and asks me for a dollar. And first of all, if you're asking me for money, I am gonna question your analytical skills. I mean, <laughs> no offense to me, but I do not look like a high roller. I look like I'm rolling high, man. You know? like, I'm like, do your homework, bro. What? So, <laughs> all right, thank you, uh, thank you. So, uh, so anyway, um, the guy asked me for a dollar. I try to be polite. I'm like, I'm sorry, sir, I don't have a dollar. And he cops an attitude with me and starts talking all tough. He's like, hey, man, why don't we take our shoes off and do a little boxing? And I'm like, well, that is a weird request, but all right, you know, uh, I'm on this bus for another 35 minutes. Let's box, bro. I think we can get in three rounds if we hurry. So as he was taking his shoes off, I beat the heck out of him. You know, I'm like, hey, 